So in this video, we're gonna test out this talking routing gun. So we picked this up on Amazon. The premise of this is you have the ability to have the ease and functionality of a caulking gun, right? But they provide you with a hollow tube, whereas you can put in brick mortar, cement, any type of grout, and it just kind of makes things easier on the go. Then by the traditional method, it definitely looks finished when you put grouts in the seams. So here you can see that we're tiling this wall here. And then we've got a, a one eighth of a seam. Now the old method that I use at least is vertically. We tend to use this simple premixed grout. This one is actually pretty good in terms of not having it fall out, right? So we do this and then we press it in and then we just keep going up and up and up. Right? That's the old method. Now the issue with this is that it's painstakingly long. Then we grab our sponge and we gotta make sure that within two, three to four minutes we're gonna wipe off the excess. And because this is a glazed porcelain, that creates additional issues because it doesn't clean as well as some of the other matted tiles out there. Okay, So we figured let's try this gun right now and see if we can essentially just use this tip to get it right into the seams. Meaning that once that's in, we just go and take the putty knife and then just go right over it. It's gonna go in, it's gonna be nice and tight. Then we take our sponge and then we wipe it. So we're gonna see if it's faster. The handle is made of plastic. The rest is made of metal. Um, you've got two screws here, so you can undo this and clean this out properly. Definitely recommend to clean this out after every use, because you don't want stuff in there to uh, solidify and dry. The tips, they gave you two, one with a longer spout, right? So that way you can go deeper in, for example, if I wanted to get it in there, I could do that. Uh, but we're gonna be using the shorter one. Again, see with these plastic nozzles, you still wanna clean them. So you press this lever, you pull this out, same way with anything else. This is a nice rubber piece here. And again, this whole thing comes off when you take these two screws off. Now to get the grout in, they give you this little contraption here. Of course, it's a lot easier when you have the powder mix it yourself. So we're just gonna try doing it with this. See how, I mean, it'd probably be better if I took the thing off. Much better. Let's try that. Let's take this off. Now they also gave you a secondary rubber pusher. This is what it looks like. So that way if that one gets too gunged up or whatever, you could always just take this and swap it out, right? So this basically just kind of comes under this. So let's load up our gun. So let's see what's the best way to do this. Okay. This grout doesn't dry up as fast as other one. So it actually fills up quite a lot. I'm gonna take our scoop, place it in the water. All right, let that do its thing. And now let's take this. I guess it goes in between. All right, so there we go. So now our gun is ready. And let's push the plunger in. So this is so this is the grouting gun. Uh, oh, okay. So I kind of screwed up because that is supposed to be on the top, but we'll just do it this way. All right. So now you basically place this plunger, and just like anything else, we should start seeing. There it is, and you guys can see that it's coming out, and you have quite a lot of control as you're pushing this. Now let's see what's happening inside. Now inside you can see that it's not coming through on the sides. So that's a pretty tight. So we're gonna have to leave this here and just get rid of the rest of it. Okay, so that's the end of that. There are very similar grouting guns that will handle grout and cement. 
It all really depends on the thickness of the nozzle. If you have a need for a brick, there's a much thicker ABS stainless steel caulking gun. It's got a caulking pump that you manually push into the seams. And this is the end result. So much faster grouting grouts in the seams. I prefer to use grout than silicone or caulk simply because one, it's a lot easier to clean and uh, dust and dirt is not gonna cling to, to grout like it does to silicone and caulking. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you on the next one.